The European Youth Center is a residential training and conference facility inaugurated in 1995. It's a window to a reunited or a united Europe, a gateway to Europe. In 1997, the first long-term training course for minority youth leaders is implemented as a follow-up initiative to the All Different and All Equal campaign. In 1999, the 50th anniversary of the Council of Europe was celebrated with a month of activities and the first EYCB Open Day. A centre like Budapest, or also our centre in Strasbourg, is a place of identification with Council of Europe values. In 2000, the Mobilitas Youth Information Service was opened on the EYCB premises. In 2003, the EYCB participated for the first time in the annual Budapest Siget Music Festival with a living library and the Council of Europe tent. We use the living library to enter a dialogue with young people, to speak with them about uh, our main issues and values, including uh, human rights, social rights, diversity gender issues, uh, refugees. In 2005, the 10th anniversary of the EYCB were celebrated. In 2012, the Council of Europe's Youth Department launched the Young People Combating Hate Speech Online project. A lot of young people are ready to invest themselves in human rights and in building a democratic society. They simply do not know how to do it. So the European Youth Centre Budapest uh, is the right place for them to come together and learn it. The young people who come here for training, they also stay here. We have 65 guest rooms, uh, a restaurant, uh, a, a clubhouse, a, a sauna, a gym. So the building can actually host uh, an activity uh, in its entirety. We host about 150 activities a, a year, trainings, uh, seminars, study sessions, conferences. Most of the activities bring together young people who don't know each other. Throughout the week, uh, they partake in uh, a variety of activities uh, together with their trainers, trainers and course directors. So I've been to many trainings and you just sit and listen how professors talk about a topic. But here you have a lot of team building activities and uh, it is more productive. We're using non-formal education techniques uh, in our training courses, which means that it's not the typical frontal educational experience that you will see in schools. Uh, it's with the very active participation of the young people who come here. Uh, they develop, they shape their own uh, experience here. They put their own ideas um, into the work um, and they learn by doing. So the next topic to discuss is why do we need the uh, uh, youth participation? So what's the added value of participating? <laughs> they need to get to have access to the decision-making bodies. It doesn't mean that they have to be included because, of course, it's not always possible, but at least to be able to know what's happening there, to get the information. So they need As there are a lot of participants from different countries and different organizations here, I'm expecting to more get involved into discussion with them. Uh, so I'm I'm particularly excited to learn about what best practices they have with working with youth because they are people who actually work with youth in their countries. During those strikes on March 1st, uh, we were participating in them as well. We were like young liberals. I was 16 back then. And we started to go for strikes, demonstrations, etc., etc. We were taken to the police station numerous times. We were beaten. All of the like human rights violations all the time. Civil society activists that work uh, sometimes under very difficult conditions 
uh, they need a place where they find people who face similar challenges to create together the solutions to the common problems that they face. The ideas, as I understand, are very liberal. You can see it in every corner. You can see it uh, on the paintings, on, on the drawings. Uh, you can see it by the way people are treating you. Very liberal, very democratic. Uh, I love it. You can feel the freedom here. Our participants cover certainly the 47 member states of the Council of Europe, but over the 20 years of our existence, uh, we had here uh, people from uh, on over 120 countries. I think there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of promoting reconciliation among the younger generation, uh, not only in areas like the former Yugoslavia, but now between, for example, Ukrainian and Russian youth, uh, uh, between Muslims and Jews, migrants and, and, and others. It can't take place just over the internet and, or in the digital world. It has to be face to face as well. The mission of the European Youth Center Budapest is as relevant as ever. Europe is in a crisis, uh, financially, socially, um, politically, and Europe needs fresh impetus. It needs creativity, it needs ideas, and it needs this positive and constructive energy of young people who want to invest in building the future of Europe. Happy birthday, European Youth Center Budapest. Nagyon boldog születesnapot kívánok, kedves fél!